Let's be honest. Windows are a big, big business. Lots of money is spent in marketing to make you think your home's performance problems can be solved with new windows. And while we're being honest, let's also admit that truly bad windows are a major drag. If they're wet or icy, or if you can't see through them or open them anymore, then yes, upgrading your windows might be a good idea. But let's explore for a minute what it's like to be a window. People expect a window to protect them from the elements like a wall. They usually expect it to open easily and close tightly like a door and they expect it to be completely transparent as if it's not even there. You might have the kind of window that's sweaty, and maybe that's because it's an aluminum single-paned window from the 1960s, but it's also possible that it's not the window's fault at all. If the home is airtight enough that it needs outdoor ventilation, then the air inside might be too humid, in which case a new window will sweat just like an old one. You'll hear commercials say new windows will be twice as insulated as the ones you have. A double pane window is in fact 100% more insulating than a single pane one. But even if you drop good money on a very nice R5 window, five times as insulated as a single pane, it's still just a drop in the bucket because your home is a system. Your expensive new R5 window has the same insulation value as an uninsulated wall. And we've seen plenty of 50 to 100 year old single pane window frames actually perform just fine. So don't assume age equates with bad performance. Lots of brand new windows get installed badly and then the frame warps until they're not water or airtight and the seal breaks and you can't see through them. Windows are important, but they're only a part of the whole system. So before you let your friends and neighbors spend tens of thousands of dollars replacing their windows, have the home performance tested first to make sure it's worth it.